Hi everyone, yes this is one of those typical videos in the car situation. I got my dates mixed up with Callie's gymnastics and I am stuck in the car park instead of doing work. Fantastic. Anyway, here's an opportunity to sort of discuss something that got raised the other week. Someone wasn't quite sure what the difference was between a website, a web app, an app. Um, so in a nutshell I thought I'd try and cover these points and why some of them might be beneficial to your business. So everyone knows what a website is. You type in a web address in a browser on your computer or on your phone and it loads up a website. And this is built with HTML, CSS and JavaScript, which have been around for donkeys years. It's something that would get found in Google and you can search for it and people will share it on their Facebook and etc. Cetera, et cetera. So with an app, generally it's like a native app people are referring to. So you might have an iPhone, you might go to the Apple uh, store and look for a particular app or game and download that onto your phone. And then you have to keep that up to date as well. And you might have to keep the operating system on your phone up to date and thus up to date the software again, etc. So it would also be the same with um, Google Play Store and I think Microsoft have their own version as well. And these native apps can tap into all the possibilities on your phone like geolocation or the tilt effect you know it's probably great for these new sort of virtual reality effects that you can now see being posted on social media and what's been coming down the line the last mm, probably a good five years or so maybe longer is web apps or progressive web apps also known as pwas and they've been pushed a lot by google um, no surprises there and they sort of bridge the gap between the two. So you get the benefits of a website, but also some of the benefits of using the, the, the device, yeah, your mobile phone or your tablets, native functions um, in your website. So that might be, they can add the app or web app to their home screen so they can constantly revisit your product or service. Um, they can, you don't have to rely on being updated all the time. So with a website, you push updates and people are none the wiser they get all content new all the time etc etc um, but one great thing is push notifications so for example if you've got an e-commerce store and you want to alert people that you've got a flash sale on you could use one of these push notifications very similar to what you'd get with Facebook pinging up a little notification across your screen or on your lock screen and um, to see you've got this flash sale so there's so many benefits using PWA, you only have to use the same language as we've been using for years for websites. You don't have to learn a different language to build for Apple and then for Google and then for another platform as well. Um, they're very quick. Um, they use HTTPS where you see the little lock icon. Um, that's great for preventing malicious tactics or cyber attacks as well. Um, there's no cost to put it through a store, you just build it like you would like a website. Um, and it's it's great because it can still get crawled by Google as well and indexed by search engines and Google shifted to mobile first a few years ago I think in 2018 maybe um, where it's treating the mobile version of a website as the primary part of the, the website basically to use as so um, you can have offline mode so say if you're service I guess is like a blog maybe you're an influencer and you want people to be able to read your content whilst they're commuting and they go through a tunnel and they've lost connection it's great for things like that as well which you wouldn't get the, with the website but it would probably cost you a lot of time and money to develop an app like a native app as well so it's a great happy medium between and there's so many companies who've already adopted a lot of this and seamlessly integrated it and you wouldn't even know so companies like Debenhams uh, Lancome, um, Forbes, Instagram, Pinterest, Uber, Starbucks, AliExpress, um, loads of them have dabbled with this technology and found great gains for the speed as well um, and we all know about speed. Um, so yeah, so I just thought I'd highlight those pointers um, and kill some time in the car so I hope you have a great day, take care.